yo, what's good, man? It's your boy Lloyd Banks. One fourth of G Unit, matter of fact, one fifth of G Unit, because now we got games straight off from Compton. I first started my album on the Rock the Mic Tour, actually recording, and I had to put it to the side to complete my performance on the Beg for Mercy album because that was the stepping stone. Sometimes your, your first impression is your only, and I had to put my all into that project before I moved on to mine. But by the time I went to start on my record, I was already about 18, 19 records in deep. So I had a good start off, and now I got too many records. Right now, we at the G Unit showroom. Happening so fast that I'll be stuck sometimes. You know, I mean? I come in here and I see like 15, 20 new layouts. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn. And I gotta make sure I stay tuned to the street. What's going on? I live in the bootleg store. I don't care. You hear me? This is why I'm so big right now. I'm here, come from the street. I stay here. Every time I come back, I was in here the other day. Just the hunger for more. It could be the hunger for more power, the hunger for more respect, the hunger for more money, or whatever, you know, the way it applies to you. But it's, it's a broad album. I have a record that hit. I have a record on here that could have been from two different albums. You know how Biggie started off with Ready to Die? That was more before the money, before the success. Life After Death was like, I'm going, going back, back to Cali. Like, he wouldn't have made that on the first album. So, you know, like, that's an advantage I had. Because 50 wrote the whole Get Rich to Die Trying in Southside Jamaica, Queens, around the corner from my house. Shot Self Studio. That whole record came from there, except the records he recorded with Dre. For me, I was moving around more. So I'm in London, and I'm in Japan, and Africa. So you're seeing a lot of different things. And it all goes into your material. questions that come up is, all right, you know, he's he's the young gun, you know, he got the punchlines and all that other shit, but is he going to be able to stand up as a solo artist? If anything, it's a positive pressure because I'm around my competition. You know, I don't really look outside my camp because they're all there. You got M, I could be in the studio with M one day, then go with Dre, then you got 50, you know, Buck, Kane, Yayo. So being all around that energy is what keeps me up. And um, I'm eager to show the world what I can do. Shout out to the whole G unit, you hear me, Young Buck, my nigga Game, shout out to the West Coast, Compton, California, my man Dr. Dre, my man Eminem, my man Tony Yayo, everybody. Big up, kid, the whole G unit. <laughs>